Hey guys, um, I didn't plan on making a video today, but I spent a good portion of yesterday and today looking at, um, browsing through, see who in the community I was really, um, interested in subscribing to and what was really going on, and, um, it's come to my attention that there are, there are a few people that, um, I wouldn't say I have too much of an interest in subscribing to. But let me preface this by saying that solely my opinion. Everything from this point on in this video is solely my opinion. You can feel free to, I don't know, browse to somebody else or watch a video to stanky leg. I don't really care. But I think it had to be said because it's something I planned on doing anyways, but in recent times it's really come to the forefront. Um, let me start by saying that I don't really subscribe to some of the ideas or some of the practices of a lot of what I've been seeing going on. And I think that in case somebody thinks that maybe that's the road I'm going, I should probably put that out there now for general interest. Um, I see a lot of crash dieters. I see a lot of pill takers. And I see a lot of, um, what is this, HCG? users okay the crash dieting I don't know what I don't understand is a lot of people here have tried to lose weight prior and they've had some success and then it's come back and I don't think they're being honest with themselves when they think that cutting their calories down to some indescribable figure is what their body needs much less for long term and I think that comes from a mindset let me go off into that for a little bit the mindset is that they are overweight okay you are above the standard set well the standard belief I guess belief system being the BMI what I don't think people are looking at is that they are not so much overweight as they are under healthy so instead of saying I'm gonna work for something long term to get me in a healthy BMI range which by the way may or may not be the most accurate way of judging only because it's set off of a certain type of person, a certain race of person, a certain shape of person. But nonetheless, instead of thinking that they want to get to somewhere where they are healthy, they're thinking that they want to get to somewhere where they are looking good for this summer or looking good for their birthday. Um, now, don't get me wrong. I entirely want to feel good about myself. But I don't want to do it at the expense of a short-term, at the expense of a long-term success because I want to get short-term cute. Now again, these are solely my opinions, and in my opinion, they are common sense, but apparently common sense isn't too common. The, um, I said it earlier on, I think it was a Better Moni's page about the calorie intake. I know from experience that if you treat your body as though you are starving it, it's going to think that you are starving it. Um, now I know this, the calorie intake for every person differs. I am 5 foot 10. I'm a tall lady. I am 280 something pounds this week, we don't even know. But I know that a healthy calorie range for me is 16 to 1900 calories per day. Otherwise, my body is of the full impression that it is being starved and anything I give it after that, whether it be a steak or a cracker, it's going to store and it's not going to metabolize that. People who are doing the crash diets, yeah, your body's working off of a deficit for a good little while, but that's not going to last. And the second you get hungry and you forget to count a particular calorie, it is getting stored. The second you don't work out for two days, it is getting stored. What I don't understand is why would you do this knowing that it's only going to last a certain period of time? Even if you want to jump start, and this goes also for those, um, those detoxes. Yeah, detoxes. Um... <laughs> I completely believe in the flushing of the system at one point or another because there's a lot of crap that literally there's a lot of crap that'll get stored that you don't need there. But people go on these vinegar and honey and lemon juice and half a touch of cyanide and maybe some hairspray and whatnot for 10 days to jump start or detox. And then they wonder why they have a video a few days later not understanding where the weight came from. And what I don't get is, I watch predominantly African American videos because they're more relatable to me because of my, both my heritage and my body shape. 
I can't necessarily relate to someone else if they don't have a similar figure to see how the weight moves at that point. I mean, it, it just doesn't work for me. And what I, I, I don't get is that within the community, within a black community, you have all of these health issues. You have a mama and a daddy and a cousin and an uncle with sugar or pressure or, you know, gallbladder issues, especially are really common among black people. So a lot of women here don't have their gallbladders. And yet they subject themselves to detoxes and crash diets and HCG shots. You are shooting yourself up. I know a bunch of y'all must know a couple crackhead jokes. What do you think you're looking like? And again, this is just me. Everything ain't for everybody. But how would you have so much going on with yourself and going on in your family? I'm sure you can look around and immediate family must have some health concern. And you're putting yourself out there and putting yourself through something that there's an alternative to. You can take in a certain amount of calories per day and lose. Up your cardio, up your weights. You, don't, you lower your calories as you get smaller because your body doesn't need that much to function, but day-to-day -day function requires a certain amount of calories. Now, I have a completely opposite problem. I don't take in enough calories every day, so most of what I eat gets stored. I struggle to get to 1,600 calories a day because I forget to eat. I get hungry at night, and I realize, damn, I haven't had anything since those two boiled egg whites and a bowl of cereal and a banana. So that clicks then, but I know I need to get to those 1600. I had weeks when I didn't lose anything but a pound a week. And at a girl of my size, I should be dropping a heck of a lot more than that, but I wasn't eating enough. As for the HCG shots, look, I should even have a picture there. I have a pill box full of about nine pills I take every day. I'll be damned if I take one more pharmaceutical concoction mix up this and the other people in there looking like mad scientists putting this stuff together no I'm not doing it and I'm not saying you are telling me to do it I just don't understand in my head how you can do it when frankly you can get up and move I saw a lady on here I'm sorry I forget everybody's names but she has PCOS she's a big lady Big and beautiful, by the way. But she's a big lady, and she got her big lady behind up, and she moved. I get my big girl behind up, and I move. I refuse to shoot up. I refuse to vinegar, honey, emotions, cream, a shampoo, whatever, detox. I refuse. Flat out refuse. And I know I'm going to have some hard days because I don't want to do the quick fixes. But I am worth more than a quick fix. I am worth more than an injection site and I am worth more than a not even FDA approved shoot HCG whatever system again no offense I am not a doctor put that out there I am not a doctor nutritionist dietitian PhD of any sort I am just a fat chick who knows there's an alternative that is it do what you wish by all means because I'm doing what I want to do I'm putting it out there in case there's somebody else out there who agrees that they just don't get it in their heads, they don't understand how people are doing it, because I don't either. I don't understand how you can be on here, put yourself out there internationally, and say that you want better for yourself, and you have your, your profile names as healthy, and starting a new me, and then you're shooting up. I don't get it, but that's just me. What I do, I'm a calorie counter. I never thought I'd be one of those, but I'm a calorie counter, and I do so because I try really hard to get to that 1600 every day. Now, mind you, I could get to it really easy by going to BK and getting a bacon whopper, but <laughs> I have to find a way to get it in otherwise. I could get it really easy by a whole bunch of Rice Krispies treats. I love them. I could get it real easy by a whole bunch of patties, Jamaican patties. If y'all never had one, you're missing out on life, but I can't. So when I'm on the road, it is really easy to get it there in a stupid way, but I'm not doing that. When I'm home, I forget to eat altogether. So what I do take, I take my medications and I take a protein shake. It's 130 calories. Sometimes it helps me bump up that deficit that I don't have throughout the day. <sighs> yeah, I just realized this became a little bit of a rant. I'm so sorry. Um, and I am sweating. I'm sorry, y'all. It turned March and Jamaica just got really hot really quickly. Um, what I was saying is I don't understand people's practices. My practices are simple. I calorie count. I try to get to 
the bottom range of my minimum requirements because I'm still paranoid that I may eat too much. But I, get, I try very hard to get to my 1600 and I see where that has proven, that has shown results for me. Um, I go to the gym five days a week, three days of weight training, two days of strict cardio. I have a half an hour of cardio every day before my weight training days. And my cardio days involves half an hour on the treadmill at about 2.5 to 3 miles an hour because I can't go much faster with my knees. Um, and then I do kickboxing or step-ups or anything to just bump me up to about 60 to 75 minutes of cardio. And that's two days a week. Um, I stick to five. I tried to do six last week and I felt like crap. Six days at the gym is just, I mean, I'd be there every day the gym is open. And I know there's got people there who are tired of seeing my pretty face, but I still go and I still push through. Today, I feel like crap, but I'm, I'm still going. Um, emotionally, I'm in a bad place. You might, I might sound miserable. I'm so sorry. I'm, <laughs> I mean, hell, what a day for a rant. I'm hormonal and I'm upset and I'm really, really tired today. But um, I'm still going to go. That's my routine. That's what I think is going to work for me long term. I may not lose the weight as quickly as a lot of people in these videos who lose their four and their five pounds a week. Or they get disappointed when they've only lost four pounds a week. Look, if I saw that scale drop four pounds in any week, you would see my big behind do a backflip. Because right now, I am doing slow and steady. And I can't ask much more of my body if... I'm going to do it the way that I'm doing it. I don't want to look good for this summer. I want to look good for 20 summers from now. And I want to feel good. I know to some I am overweight, but to me I am under healthy. And I want to get to healthy. I'm going to work my way up to healthy, not worry too much about that scale working its way down. Yes, I want to look good and I want to feel good, but not, not the route I see people taking. It is not worth that to me. Again, if it is your route, that is your road to hoe by all means. I just can't do it. And I don't get how people do it. I'm here trying to fight diseases and people are having HCG shots go bad. And they're having days when their detox has them too detoxed and they're tired. And they didn't go to the gym but two days this week because their low calorie diet has them with no energy. That It seems counterproductive to me. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm sorry if I came across as mean or miserable, but again, it is it's my views. and So um, that's it. I'm going to come back with something else, something I actually planned to do, which was um, my little foods that get me through my sneak foods, my cheat foods, my replacement to my really, really bad foods that get me over that craving hump. And again, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting on my body to act right so I can do that body shot and weigh in and stuff on the weekend. I'm hoping in the next couple of days I'll be back down to at least a weight that I recognize as real versus a whole bunch of water weight. So yeah, sorry for my rant. My apologies if I offended anybody. Just what I had to say at the time. Thanks again to all my new subscribers, my Jamaican friends, um, a few random people. I'm not even sure where y'all came from. But I wasn't one to do the whole ask for subscribers and likes and whatnot and comments. I am interested in hearing what you have to say, though. By all means, help out if you want to, because I don't usually pull my punches when I comment. I mean, I talk a lot, so I don't mind commenting. But if you feel the need to, <sighs> hit me up, etc. Have a great day. Stay healthy. Try to be happy. Stay away from the cookies. Bye-bye.